everything. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. So today let's, uh, I'm going to show you guys the kind of like give you what's in the box and give you a live demo. Okay. On K plus the manual hand grinder from easy presser. I know some, uh, some people like to say like one Z, uh, in Chinese is easy. Uh, one is E. So yeah, easy press over there. So, First impression, okay, solid. Yeah, I do have the J-Max at my coffee cave. Uh, looks very similar to J-Max, but uh, you, you look at the shape of it. So in the top is narrow, okay? So which means it's a lot, it's a lot easier to uh, hold on to it, okay? A lot easier to hold on to it. Uh, maybe next couple of days, I'm gonna uh, show you guys kind of like side by side for you. J Max and K Plus. So this is the K Plus. Uh, bottom same as the uh, uh, J Max, magnetic as well. What well, seems like this is a little bit more stronger than J Max for some reason. The feels feels better. Okay. Hope you guys can hear it. Yeah. And then, not only that, this one comes with a blind shaker. The blind shaker is known from uh, the Weber workshop so they give you the two pieces fits right in here okay just like so so this one is pretty cool remove it the remove the bottom piece just to unscrew it just so simply unscrew it screw one screw back this one in so become kind of like blind shaker so i'm not gonna use that this morning but um, maybe we should do that next couple of days. My plan is this morning I'm going to show you guys a live demo on Espresso. Since uh, I played with this one yesterday morning, this is a Demello from it's called Butterfly Kisses, Ethiopia coffee beans, and uh, black currant, dark cherry, and papaya. So I remember vividly uh, from yesterday morning. I'm going to be using this one using my Bravo Booster Pro. Kind of like I'm trying to figure out which one has how different, uh, how different from uh, built-in grinder versus uh, K plus. So by the way, K plus has 48 millimeter conical burst, guys. 48 millimeter. I believe they're bigger than Bravo Vista Express or Pro. So hand grinder has a bigger burst than my machine here. But this is a manual, okay? which means you have to work at it. So uh, let's see here, what's in the box? Uh, we have the, this uh, plunge, kind of like cleaner. I don't know how many times I'm gonna use this, but it's nice to have. Uh, comes with brush, okay, to your clean. Inside your burrs. Uh, so this is the hand grip, this rubber piece for hand grip. So. Uh, it can be useful. By the way, they give you a kind of like range for the like brew guide. So that's kind of like just a starting point, okay? And uh, just like anything else, any other grinder, you have to dial this one in. So I'm just going to guess. I'm going to start with about 36 clicks. So each number represent, uh, so let's say zero through one is about 10 clicks. And then total of 90 clicks on this one. You can go beyond, okay? You can go beyond, but it's about 90 clicks. So earlier this morning, I was curious how fine this uh, grinder can go. So I set up like one. Man, I'm telling you, comes to range. This thing is amazing, okay? This thing is amazing. So I'm gonna set at 30, about 37 clicks on K plus this morning. Um, if you go like, goodness. So okay, so zero through this, so, so that's 10 clicks. So if you set at five, you're gonna grind for a long time. So you can actually do Turkish coffee on this one. I don't know what kind of right mind person use Turkish coffee on hand grinder, but good luck to you with that. Okay, it should be. By the way, I'm gonna big shout out to friends at Easy Presso to hook me up with this grinder. 
Okay, he's a long time coming. Okay, I asked him a while ago, but they were nice enough to send us this channel. Okay, to I can show you guys the live demo. All right, give you guys a live demo for you as well. Look at this bearing, man, smooth, the butter smooth. Okay, uh, I think this is about 250 bucks. Okay, let's think about it for a second. $250 for hand grinder. Uh, let's see here. Which one is more expensive? Commandante. Okay, the top of the... Uh, Commandante comes to the public perception. Okay, I'm talking about public perception. The brand, the name recognition, right? The brand recognition. We got Commandante is on the top. Definitely. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Okay, let me know any other grinder is better than Commandante. I know we have a more premium grinders out there. This is called Kinu. Is uh, uh, actually more than Commandante. Okay, Kinu. We have what? Few other ones. I can't even come up with it. But I know Kinu is really nice. And the reason why I'm really excited about the uh, the K Plus comes to bird geometry, according to my friends out there. Very similar to Commandante, okay? Similar to Commandante, so fact is I do have Commandante. So we are going to do some fun comparison. So Commandante is about over, gosh, uh, over $300. All right, hold on a second here. Yep, so we have, by the way, uh, if you are just joining us for the first time, uh, join the live chat, okay? We have a lot of friends in there, which that's what we do. We just talk about coffee every single morning. And let's, you know what, let's uh, brew some coffee. I already measured out 18 gram. I'm not gonna do 20 gram recipe on this one, butterfly kisses. They call for 20 gram recipe, but I'm not going to, okay? Too much work. I'm, I'm gonna be doing 18 gram. Uh, let's see, about, about 30, uh, 7, 30, or I think 36 clicks, okay? I'm just gonna put the coffee grinds here. Okay, here's what I'm, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna time how long it's gonna take grind 18 gram <clears throat> on 36 clicks. Here we go. Time is starting. It's not, it's not ideal. Comes to coffee grind by manually okay not ideal it is work man it's getting already hard i'm at 30 seconds right now hold on i'm gonna take a little break i know a lot of young guys out there i know a few of my friends on the discord I think Ryan. Ryan does about what? 40 seconds? Okay, here we go. 50, <coughs> 50 seconds right now, about 36 clicks. Okay. So now I'm done. Okay, let's see. Comes to, smells great. Nothing like freshly roast ground coffee. Okay, pretty fine. Let's find out. Let's find out, folks. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna flip the camera for you guys. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna do some dummy flush on my grind. Man, I'm out of breath. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm not gonna use the puck paper this morning. Okay, I'm just, I just wanna see how close I am, comes to grinder setting here. Okay. Do some quick WDT. 
since we are doing bottomless pore filter. A shout out to Jay Kim. Man, Jay did pretty well with this 3D print. All right, man, comes to grind quality. Okay. Pretty good, not bad. All right, I'm just gonna take my temp. Comes to temping pressure, just even, okay. There's no magic number for that, guys. I'm just gonna add my, this, this is, I'm getting really enjoying the puck screen. So this one is a one millimeter. Okay, no, I'm sorry. The, yeah, one millimeter uh, puck screen, screen from Normcore. Not the 1.7, so pretty thin there. So you can put more coffee beans in. All right, here we go. Okay. I'm just gonna, hope I can give you guys a live shot here underneath. Okay, here I go. First time dialing it here. Hopefully my guess was correct, but who knows? I'm gonna I'm going for a one to two, about 36 grams of coffee. There we go, looks pretty good. Go 36 gram. 27 seconds, wow. My, am I lucky today. Goodness. Yeah, I got lucky today, guys. So I guess that's a beginner's luck. Shot looks really good. So 27 seconds, okay, 39 gram. I'm at 30, I, I, I need to write down this one. So uh, about 36 clicks right now, 36 clicks on K plus. 36 clicks, let's think about it for a second. So this is an espresso, the grind, a grind. Okay, so this is not a, this is, this is more known for filter coffee. Okay, they are really known for filter coffee there because of geometry. <clears throat> 36 clicks, which means I can go even a lot, a lot finer. Can you imagine? So if you are looking for range, man, that's pretty impressive. I'm not saying that because I got, for, I got this grinder for free, okay. I'm just telling you the facts there. All right, I'm just gonna, okay, so this is a big one. Okay, doesn't matter, it has a good range. Okay, beer quality. If you have a bait taste espresso, what's the point, okay? Cheers. Okay, I'm trying to think about the tasting note from yesterday from my beer thing grinder, so. Uh, dark currant, no, not dark currant, black currant, and dark cherry and papaya. Cheers. Man, dark currant, for sure. Papaya as a finishing note. What else? Okay, here we go. Here's the dark cherry. Smooth, a uh, medium body to it. Man, uh, has more texture to it, okay? Has more body than uh, my built-in grinder from yesterday. It's quite nice, okay? You know, I think I'm gonna, I got some little left here. I'm gonna make myself Americano. Because I like to, I like to do that. A couple of sips of espresso in the morning and then finish up with a nice long black. 
give you that, you know, different, kind of like different uh, flavor, uh, tasting notes as well, different flavor. Okay. I I'm pretty impressed with the range. Goodness, 36 clicks. I mean, I'm talking about espresso. See if I'm gonna, so uh, let's do some filter coffee uh, next couple of days. Could be here at the, could be at the, my coffee cave. Man, so now I can taste the dark cherry. Okay, here we go. Man, smooth. There's no bitter or sour aftertaste, well balanced. Very nice uh, brightness as well. Yeah. Uh, comes to... Can complain, guys. Can complain there. So, man, I cannot wait to compare this one with Commandante, okay? I know a lot of Commandante fanboys out there because Commandante has a good community. That's great thing about the high-end grinder because like Commandante has a community, I know niche people has a community and the, I know like uh, Easy Press, uh, I know Timer, I know they're trying to build a community like Commandante or niche because I mean, whenever you go to like, okay, the great example is if you go to Onyx. Onyx is a well-known coffee roaster in U.S. If you go to Onyx, if we click their uh, coffee, <clears throat> they give you brewing guide, okay? The Ilika, uh, he's the host. He, he shows up on the YouTube video. He tells you how to brew that coffee, that particular coffee. He usually say, Commandante, if you have Commandante, it's going to be 15 clicks, okay? If you have EK43, 9 clicks or whatever. They give you the uh, guideline. Nobody use K+, Plus, I mean, Easy Press or the timer as guideline. So I know, I know they're trying, but comes to, I cannot wait, okay? I cannot wait to, maybe you can start something here on this channel. So... I'm using the Mellow Butterfly Kiss, 36 clicks on K+, okay, K+. So this is definitely, because one, uh, if you go to uh, uh, Easy Press or website, the Brewing Guide, uh, they recommend espresso kind of like three and below. So this is above that. So, so again, so this is more like medium roast here. Uh, I'm using the 36 clicks. So I cannot wait to try on the filtered coffee. By the way, I cannot wait to try on the filtered coffee there. Okay, again, so you guys see me with the puck screen every time on my channel. The reason is this, okay? You're gonna have really nice dry puck. I know Normcore makes this, but I like to use the one millimeter instead of a 1.7. Uh, I mean, if you're using the low dose, you might want to use a thicker one. But if, if you're using the 18 gram, so this is the IMS 18 gram baskets. So if you put like 18 gram, especially darker roast, it's going to be too, too, too much grinding in there. So you cannot use the thicker puck screen. And then once you start using the paper, uh, maybe I'm going to uh, give you guys another demo next couple of days. The reason why I like to use puck paper, uh, filter out the, all the crema. Here's flip side. The flip side is, it's going to be go flow, it's going to be increase the flow rate. So you have to go even finer, your grinder size. Which means if, if you are using the Brista Express or Pro, we may have some challenges in go finer grinder settings. So sometimes it can be a little tricky. So there's a, a lot of work way around it. But if you are using the hand grinder, you don't have to worry about it. By the way, let me know, I mean, how many people out there right now use hand grinder for your espresso? Man, lo love to hear your thoughts on it because this is uh, extremely capable for your espresso, but I cannot imagine, okay? I don't want to spend Make two or three. I mean, I'd rather use 
my built-in grinder all day for using the hand grinder but I cannot wait for the filter coffee okay filter coffee should be I cannot wait for that okay I cannot wait for the filter coffee on this one next few days what else uh, I'm gonna look at your live chat here going on right now we got the live chat again make sure join the live chat folks we have great group of community here hold on we got Jonathan we got Men Gopi. You got Linda's pretty active this morning. Okay, you got the Justin's on. You got Neil. Hold on a second here. I'm trying to look at some questions from you guys. Uh, Linda asked me what scale. That it is a scale from a timer. It's called Nano. Okay, Nano. All right, we got Linda has. A shout out to Joe. Okay, so by the way, so Joe is, if you have any question regarding all the DFs, okay, all the DF 64, 64E, 64P, Joe is the owner of Espresso Outlet. So, <coughs> Joe, I think I need to uh, unbox your DF 64E uh, sometime today. Goodness, it looked like everybody got one, okay? I need to unbox the E. I saw Lance got one. Lance, I saw Lance uh, opened that one up. And also I saw Kyle, okay? Kyle from Canada got one as well. So yeah, you know, let's, I, I think, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some live demo on E. I think E is pretty cool, okay? I mean, I think even though range is only the espresso range, but I mean, at home, because I like to use just a single dose, but sometimes I don't mind having the hopper. So yeah, I'm gonna try it at home as well. So again, uh, if you're just joining us, we are doing the live demo and what's in the box on K Plus this morning. Uh, comes to specs wise, I mean, you can read about it on their websites, okay? <clears throat> I think this one has a total of 90 clicks and the each clicks is about 23, 22 or micron. That does, sometimes that doesn't mean nothing. Means something, but that doesn't mean nothing. But you know what, if I were you, go buy the taste, okay? Taste your uh, cup, all right? I think that's the bottom line. And because it doesn't matter what kind of specs you have on your grinder, if that does not taste good, what's the point, okay? What's the point there? I'm gonna look at one last time for your live chat. Here. Okay, Joe say only the best YouTuber got the DF64 P and E. Man, I mean, Joe, I mean, you the man, buddy. You the man. Okay. Okay, what else? Uh, let's see here. Uh, so we're going to have some fun today. I, I, I cannot wait. I'm really, so again, I'm really excited about the K Plus uh, compared out with Commandante coming up this week. And also, I'm, I'm going to go head to head with the timer, the X Lite as well. So we have a timer. We got the uh, uh, Easy Press and Commandante. Okay, so they are. So these grinders I have is about. They are kind of a like flagship. Okay, they're flagship grinder because like K uh, and the below that, I mean they are good, but so this is kind of like their their showcase piece. So they're trying to make a statement. So Commandante coming around 300 bucks or so, three or 350 range there. K plus is about 250. And uh, uh, we have K, uh, X lights coming in around like or, over 200. It is expensive, comes to grinders, but, but once you're getting into that rabbit hole of coffee grinder, now you are thinking about spending 100, 200, 250 bucks. It's not as bad as you think, okay? But before you get there, okay, hopefully you guys are watching my channel, I'll give you some ideas before you invest money on it. But flip side is, <clears throat> that's the reason why I like to work with Amazon. Get it from Amazon, okay? I'm gonna put the link down below. They got 30 day return policy, all right? Amazon has started their return policy, so 
If you don't like it, <clears throat> just return it. Get your money back and try something else as well. So I think that's the one great thing about getting from Amazon. Yes, uh, it is a huge, huge company, but comes to as buyer, man, can beat the 30 day policy. Hold on a second here. I'm just gonna go one last time. Okay, Dogman22 say, I can't, he said he can't keep up with easy press on naming. Yes, I mean, they, uh, they do have a lot of different names. I, could, I think I know. They have K. They got the, start with the K, start with the J. And they have a Max, they got Pro, Plus. Yeah, they have a lot of grinders. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. I'm gonna see you guys next time.